Hi, how can I help you tonight? Hey guys, it's Claude, Brodesser Ragnar, just driving around in Colorado, where cannabis is legal. So legal. I'm about to buy some cannabis products at a drive-thru. So I'm going to let this chain down for you, and you're going to pull up there to the, to the drive-thru window, and uh, Jordan will uh, take your order up there. Sounds like a plan. I just need to see your ID and make sure you're old enough to, uh, to uh, purchase it. I happen to have it right here. All right, let's see here. Hello, helpful cannabis person. Hi, how are you doing tonight? I am well, except for this excruciating, debilitating pain in my mic wrist. I believe we might have something to help with that. Could I please start with you having rolled down all four of your windows and turn your vehicle off for me? Utterly reasonable request. I will place it into park, shutting off the engine. This is a little bit crazy, but I'm on board. Here is our Nordic Goddess Topical. It is a one-to-one -one THC to CBD ratio. What you'll get from this is pain relief as well as anti-inflammatory effects. Will I be able to see sound or communicate with forest animals? Unfortunately, you will not experience any psychoactive effects from this product as it only absorbs into the affected area and never hits the bloodstream. So once I pull in, the door closes, that's when we have our little conversation about what I want. I give cross your palms with silver, you cross my palms with green or cream or whatever, and then the door opens and away we go, and the public is nary the wiser. Uh, why does it happen this way? A more appropriate term for this might actually be a drive-in dispensary, and that's the whole reason everything is so much different, because we are a dispensary. There are much more rules and regulations in place uh, versus when you're buying a cheeseburger. Why does it need to be a drive-in? Because transactions in the state of Colorado have to take place out of the eye of the public, uh, so that's why we have the doors that close, and therefore you are in the dispensary, by definition. When you do get in the dispensary, the cameras need to also verify that you don't have weapons, children, paraphernalia, um, alcohol, uh, previous purchases from other dispensaries in the vehicle, because all of that is unlawful inside a dispensary. What if these are my weapons? I suppose I can't argue with that. Thank you, cannabis woman. Be well. I feel better already. Now, of course, no buds were actually harmed or purchased in that last little bit there. That was just magic for the internet. But it is kind of what happens pretty much every day here in Colorado. Coloradans pull up, show their ID, ask for weed, hand over their money, and get it. Simple, easy, legal. Just think, New Jersey. It could be coming to a drive-thru near you.